Drop it. What is going on everybody? My name is Flexible and today I got another combo tutorial for you but this time it's going to be a little bit different because uh, for the past six months we've been worried about losing LP because the OCG banned it a while back and especially by the end of August knowing that there's a new ban list around the corner uh, we've been looking into either changing the combo route completely like going for a different end board and stuff uh, or just looking for different combo routes to keep the current combo alive with going into Saryuja and special summoning out the Gamus new with the negates and stuff. So, in case you're not familiar with the standard Crusadia guard dragon combo, I'm gonna show it to you real quick. Now, you normally summon the, any Crusadia, link it away for Magius, then you summon another, like Crusadia or Extender, it doesn't really matter, and to the zone Magius point to searching your Crusadia Draco, then you link those away into Spatha, summoning out the Draco taking back your normal summon Crusadia because you can still use it for a special summon later on. Then you link away the Draco for an LP, use path as effect to move LP, have a zone 2 link monsters point to, summon out the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, use his effect to summon out the Draco, and then you have four monsters on board that you can go into a four material Skull Dread with. And why is this important? Now, first of all, the three material Skull Dread is important because we can use the effect to special summon Gamma Steel from our hand, Especially after we activated the field spell, then we have basically three negates with Gamma Seal right there. Um, but also the four material effect is that you draw four cards and put three back. So not only is it an upstart goblin, uh, but it also helps you like in case you don't open the field spell, uh, you still have the opportunity to draw four cards and potentially have a field spell in those four so you can uh, activate it then and keep comboing off. But this is basically only possible because we have this uh, the LPNR extra deck. Uh, which helps us get the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, go plus one and go into the four material combo. But if we lose LP, there's, or at least we thought there wasn't a really a consistent way to go into four material Saryuja with Crusadias. And uh, some people were switching back to the uh, going second variant or going to Rocket Crusadias and ending on completely different boards overall. But some of us, like me for example, didn't want to stop right there and we maybe tried to find different combos. Uh, to different combo routes to still go into four material Saryuja and end on the Gamma and stuff. And then there's a YouTube commenter named Atomic who came up with this really cool combo. I was super impressed when I read his comment. Uh, he commented on the, under one of the Team COG's videos, so shout out to those two. And um, now he doesn't have any social medias or like a YouTube channel or whatever, but I'm still gonna link his channel in the description. He's a pretty nice guy. I talked to him a little bit about this and um, uh, yeah, I was just pretty impressed with the way he, he came up with this. So I'm gonna show this combo real quick and then I'm gonna talk about some upsides and downsides about this combo. Um, so you start off regularly, like uh, normal summoning Crusadia, summon out the Magus, summon the second Crusadia, search Draco, go into Spatha, summon Draco, take back the normal summon Crusadia. And now this is important, you link this away into, into Pisty instead. Now Pisty summons from the graveyard or from the banish zone. Uh, you use Spatha's effect to move it, summon back the Draco and then you link those two away into Dragoonity Knight Romulus. Now what this does is it can search out an equip spell, a Dragoonity uh, spell trap card, I'm sorry, uh, from the deck to your hand. And you're going to search the equip spell Dragoonity Divine Lance, equipping it to Romulus. And then you can use the effect of Divine Lance to equip a Dragoonity Tuner Dragon Monster to Romulus, which is going to be Phalanx. Now Phalanx effect is if it's equipped to a monster, you can special summon it. And now you are going to link away the Spatha and the Romulus, which are two link two monsters. In my case, personally, I would use Draco Masters of the Tenyi. It can be basically any effect monster, link 3 or link 4, that has three downward pointing arrows. Uh, this is important because in a later step in the combo, I'm going to show you in a second, but I compiled a little list of all the monsters that you can use. I'm going to put it on screen right now. So any of those monsters that are on screen right now, you can use instead of Draco Masters of the Tenyi. It's just my personal preference to use him. And now this is where the second Crusadia that you uh, took back with Draco comes in because you can special summon it now and then link away the Crusadia and the Phalanx into Codebreaker Virus Swordsman which is a new card from Eternity Code and when it's co-linked on summon you can special summon a Codebreaker Zero Day from your deck hand or GY which is uh, this one right here also new in Eternity Code and oh I forgot to put this away when I linked off uh, Romulus now you can link those two away into Codebreaker Virus Berserker, who also on summon when he's co-linked, uh, can summon up to two 
Code breaker monsters from your uh, great hand or graveyard uh, to zones that the monster he is calling two points to. So he's calling to Dragon Master of the Tenny. He has two other downward pointing uh, arrows that are free right now. So you can summon the Swordsman and the Zero Day to the free zones. And this is important why you need to have the three zones because not only do the code breaker monsters need to be calling, but also he has to need two free zones to special summon those two right here of the Link 3 effect, right? And now you have four monsters that you can link away into a skull dread and then draw one card and put all back those other three and special summoning monster and stuff so that's pretty cool so as you can see it's still a super consistent two card combo basically the same as before two crusadias uh, equal full combo uh, don't require any extra cards in hand or stuff um, so super consistent just as before and now let me tell you about the upsides and the downsides compared to our old combo now one of the biggest upsides is pretty obvious actually that you don't need LP which is the only reason we've been thinking about this combo in the first place because we are afraid of losing LP and then after that we need a different approach so um, this is a very good substitute combo for um, doing our standard Crusadia combo plays and also a very good point is that it's still a two card combo which in Crusadia is extremely consistent extremely easily accessible and it doesn't take up more resources than before and also we don't have to lose the draw 4 effect of Saryuja to uh, have methods to get into the field spell or just uh, unbreak our hands and go plus one and stuff so now before I jump into the downsides of this combo specifically I want to mention that I'm not in any way trying to diminish the effort that uh, Tomic put into this as I said I'm really impressed with the combo he's come up with and I, I was uh, happy to talk to him about this and stuff so I think it's really cool um, but obviously there are some downsides that need, need to be addressed here and one of them is that it adds three bricks to your deck essentially or like three garnets because you know uh, in Crusadia Guard Dragons usually or the Crusadia combo variants you play three bricks already or garnets you play the two trap holes for the Reflasia targets and then you play the crawler uh, which can help you uh, be another negate it searches your card and it can also help you play around Dark Moon no more but with this combo you will need three more bricks uh, or garnets in your deck now obviously you can use them uh, if you open them but it just loses your resources because you because you would be able to search them and stuff so um, some people don't like playing this many. Now, Charles from Team COG, for example, he opens Crusadia Crawler in like 8 out of 10 hands, so he's probably a little scared of playing more bricks than he already does. Um, but that's also a reason why I've been trying to look into a 60 card Crusadia list. I might bring that out to you by the next week or something, uh, just to show the concept basically, uh, so you don't, so you're less likely to open the bricks. But, you know, still doubling the amount of breaks in your deck uh, can be deterring for some people. Now the other thing is that it kind of limits the, the cards that you can have as your two card combo because usually for regular like LP Crusadia Guard Dragon combos, uh, you can have any one combo starter. It doesn't even have to be a Crusadia at this point anymore because we have Format Skipper. Um, but any combo starter and any extender are full combo, right? Um, but with this one, you either, for example, if you play Format Skipper, you need to play the Scripton almost even because, or, so you either need to play the Scripton because then the Format Skipper replaces itself for an extender and you can keep extending the combo with this, or you need to have two different named Crusadias in your starting hand that are not Crusadia Draco because you need to take back the normal summoned one with Draco and use it as an extender later on down the combo. Or if you don't have those specific hand setups for your two card combo, you will need to have a third extender in your hand. So then, it's either you have the script on for the format skipper or you have two crusadias that are not draco and that have different names from each other or you turn the combo into a three card combo which is a little less efficient and a little less consistent obviously uh that's a little bit of a problem too but uh in crusadias having two different crusadias in hand and like playing 16 crusadias and the format skipper i personally play script on all the time so those things are not a problem to me personally but depending on how you build your deck those might be things that you need to take into consideration when thinking about this combo. And then the third thing, which is also one of the biggest things actually, is the extra deck space because usually all you need in a Crusadia combo deck, like the bare minimum, at least the way um, I and many other people I know build it, is you need the two Crusadias to start the combo, then you need the LP and the Skulldread, and then you need the Regulex and the Equimax um, to extend into the final part of the combo, you Equimax with the end board and stuff like that, regular like searching the crawler. Um, so that's six extra deck slots that you can't take out for anything, like that's the absolute bare minimum that you need in your extra deck for a Crusadia combo variant. Um, and now, let's say we lose LP, that's reduced to five, but with this combo specifically, if we don't find a less resource heavy combo, we will need five more extra deck slots that we can't take out for any alternatives. 
uh, from like say end board pieces or whatever or eight if you don't want to play those two so eight to ten extra deck slots that you can take out for anything which is super limiting and that's also why some people i've talked to say that this might not even be worth it um because it's just way too many resources to perform this one single combo of going into scalded for four now personally i don't think it is actually because the main combo that we perform is uh, going into Scaldred already and then just ending like on an Equimax with an additional negate, maybe throwing a Parallelic Seed in the, in the middle of the combo for a Reflasia. Um, but there's not much more that we do anyway usually. So giving up some extra deck space like some generic negates or whatever just to be able to perform this combo as consistently as before we lost LP uh, is a pretty fair trade in my opinion. But I can definitely see why some people would might not be in favor of this specific combo. Um, but you know, as I said before, uh, if we happen to lose the LP and we still want to keep the combo alive, then there are some things that we have to give up, or you just you know switch the decks or whatever. All right, everybody, and that's the video. Thank you very much for watching. Shout out to Atomic again. A shout out to Team COG, uh, who basically kickstarted this entire thing where I found Atomic's comment and stuff. Um, a huge combo. I liked it a lot. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Maybe you have a more uh, or a less convoluted, a less resource heavy combo for Crusadia's going into 4 materials for you just. Maybe you have an improvement for this specific combo that we could uh, use in order to make it better, more consistent, whatever. But if you liked this video, then uh, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, then also let me know what you didn't like because I'm always trying to improve my content so you guys have more fun watching it. And um, other than that, guys, thank you for watching. See you next time.